In this video, I'm going to show you a new pair of glasses put out by Tifosi, at least they're new when I'm making this video, and that is the Tifosi Rail. And these have actually become my favorite pair of glasses, and I use these now for mountain biking and for gravel. And these are Phototech, well, the ones that I have are Phototech. Tifosi makes different lens options, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Now for mountain biking, I have been using the Tifosi Slice. Hands down, these have been my favorite mountain bike glasses. I mentioned that in another video. What I really like about the Slice is they're light and they have no rim to obstruct my view and they have no bridge in the middle of the glasses. And that allows me to, again, have a really unobstructed view even when I'm riding and I look at the top of the glasses or I may look over the glasses, there's nothing to obstruct my vision. Now for gravel, I've been using the Tifosi Sledge and really like these glasses. And these are the ones that I use on sunny days. Now the Sledge, the ones that I have, have interchangeable lenses. So I've got a clear lens for the Sledge and I've also got this red one. Now I actually have never changed the lenses on the Tifosi slides since I've gotten them. I'm so busy that it's just one more thing that I would have to do before a ride. So if it's sunny, I'm riding gravel, I grab these, and then I grab the slice if it's cloudy or I'm mountain biking. So I mountain bike in an area where we're in the woods a lot, a lot of tree cover. And so I typically will use a clear lens. Now these are Phototech, as are the rails. And what Phototech means and at least the rails that I have. There's different lens options. And Phototech is Tifosi's word for photochromic, which means they darken in the sun. And I use the rail for mountain biking and also for gravel because they get darker in the sun. And I, I just like this, this coating that they put on it. It really helps with the glare. Now I do, I do use these for, like I said, riding out in the sun for gravel sometimes, but typically, like I said, if it's a sunny day, I'll grab the sleds. Now let's really focus on the rail. This is a bigger lens, as you can tell from comparing them to the slice. And so that allows me to really have a lot of coverage when I'm riding. Uh, and you know, it's funny how sunglasses have changed like back in like the eighties, remember the Oakleys and the really big kind of goggle looking glasses and then glasses got smaller and now they're getting bigger, which I really like because I like that extra coverage. Now, just like the slice, the rail does not have a bridge and does not have a rim. And when I have these on, like there, I can see no part of the glasses. Just in my peripheral vision, I can see maybe just a tiny bit of the arms. But again, these have really good coverage. You can tell by the curvature of the glasses that they really wrap around. They curve around actually even a, just a little bit more than the slice. But one thing I like about these is they have a pretty good secure fit on my face. Now the slice, even though they're light, even though there's no rim or no bridge, they don't give a lot of grip on the side of your, uh, on your temples. And that's because there's not as much lens. Now that's typically fine, but every once in a while they can slip down. The rail just have a bit more of a secure fit. And I'm gonna assume it's because there's more lens and it's just a stiffer pair of glasses. And so again, I get a little bit more pressure on my temples and that uh, allows me to have the glasses be a little bit more secure. Now I'm gonna go outside here in a minute and show you how these darken in the sun. These have just a very, very slight tint. When I put them on, again, when I'm mountain biking or riding at night, uh, I don't really notice any kind of tint if it's darker uh, and because the, the lenses are pretty much clear, uh, but they do get darker in the sun. And even though they don't get quite as dark as the mirrored lenses that come on these sledge glasses, uh, the rail lens, at least the photo tech uh, lens, uh, does get pretty dark. It gets dark enough for me. Now, I mentioned you can get these in interchangeable lenses. And so Tifosi makes, I think, like a yellow lens, and then you get a clear and also a red lens, and then they make like a blue and a, a smoke, a, a dark one. Uh, I prefer Phototech lenses now because, like I said, it, I don't have to worry about changing out the lens. If it's if it's sunny out, I don't have to you know put in the darker one or vice versa. I I just like that. It's my it's totally my preference. 
Uh, the interchangeable lenses are great because you get like three pair of glasses in one. So some people may like that. But I just now, I, I honestly grab these, like I said, on almost all of my rides. Mountain bike and gravel, you know, if it's bright and sunny, if it's dark, night, whatever. Um, I just grab these and they have really good coverage. And before I do the outside test, I sometimes mention safety things in my videos and just wear glasses because you never know when you're going to get an object flying up from a, somebody's wheel in front of you or a bug. It happened to a, a buddy of mine on our Tuesday night ride last week. He got a bug in his eye and he had the bug in his eye like the whole ride and he couldn't get it out. Uh, and he had to take his glasses off because um, he got some sweat on them. Oh, and that's one other thing I want to mention about these. Like the slice, these sit off my face. Really important for me because I live in an area that gets really hot and humid in the summertime and we sweat like you wouldn't believe. And because these sit off my face, they're not contacting my forehead. So sweat can't drip off my forehead directly onto the glasses. Now I do get sweat on them uh, just you know, dripping, but it's not as bad as if the glasses actually made contact with my brow. And so again, that's why I like uh, the rail because they do sit off my face, as do the slice glasses. I still recommend these. Like these, it, it, they just are a little bit smaller and they are have a little bit less pressure on your temples, which some people may actually like, but I'm grabbing these now most of the time because of the amount of coverage over my face. All right, so let's go outside and I'll show you how these darken in the sun. So I'm outdoors and even though the sun just went behind the clouds, it was just out. And so this is how dark they get out in the sun. To me, they're plenty dark for riding in bright sunshine. And they do a really good job, by the way, of reducing glare. So whatever coating Tofosi puts on these glasses, they reduce the glare, which is important when you're riding, especially like if there's glare coming off car windshields or coming off the road. Uh, you really want some glasses to reduce glare and these do a good job of it. So that is the new Tofosi rail. If you pick up these, you do get a hard shell case, a zippered hard shell case, really nice. Uh, and then of course you get the microfiber bag, which you can use to put the glasses in if you didn't want to use the hard shell case. So a little bit smaller packability. Is that a word? Packability. And of course you can use the bag for wiping off the lenses, which you always want to do with a nice pair of sunglasses because you don't want to scratch your lenses with a paper towel. Never wipe glasses with a paper towel. You can scratch the lenses. So Tofosi Rail, they retail for $80. Like I said, really good value. Uh, all the ones that I showed today, I can still highly recommend. As I mentioned before, these are my new favorites and I'm grabbing these on almost all of my rides. I'll drop an affiliate link in the description below if you want to check out a pair of these. And if you get them, let me know in the comments what you think about them. Any other questions or comments, drop those below. Thanks for watching.